welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Sonia and I would love it if you could subscribe. And if you're not already an existing subscriber, welcome back. So today is going to be my birthday haul. So my birthday was on Monday. I got well and truly spoiled. Now I did have a lockdown birthday, so I didn't see anyone apart from my partner, Ricky, who I live with. But a lot of people actually got me some gifts sent through the post, which was really, really lovely. If I don't have them with me now, what I will do is just let you know what it was that I got. I don't know how long this is going to be. I did get some clothing pieces. What I will do is I will put a cutaway in of me trying those on. I don't know, I'm hopeful. We did this last time. I'm hopeful that it's going to look okay, but we shall see. I got some bits and bobs from my family and friends. I got vouchers, which I will show you what I got with those. And I did also buy some stuff for myself. So we will go through those at the end. Starting off, some of my friends got me a afternoon tea delivered, which was really, really nice. I love a good afternoon tea. So me and Ricky had that last Friday. And then I also got a couple of bunches of flowers. So I got a bunch of flowers off my mum and dad my sister Katie and her boyfriend and I also got a bunch of flowers off Ricky's mum and dad as well. Those were kind of the things I don't I can't physically show you. If I have a picture of the flowers I will put them on the screen but one of the bunches of them they're still kind of blooming at the minute so I'll see if I can put one in and if I can you will see them. The next thing I got was from Ricky's sister and her fiance and they actually picked me up some earrings from Pandora. It was really, really lovely of them. So I haven't got any earrings in at the minute, actually. They look like this. Also, you have to excuse my nails. I've had to take my nail varnish off. My nails are struggling a lot at the moment. So please just kind of don't look at them, look at the stuff, but they look like this. They're super, super pretty. Definitely an earring that I will enjoy. So I got that set of earrings, which was indefinitely ones I will use. My sister then also bought me a gift. It was this. She got me a cushion and it says sending you a big hug. Though we may be far apart, we are always close at heart. So this was really, really nice. This is actually on my sofa downstairs. I just brought it up for this video. But I really, really love this. So all my family actually live in a completely different location to where I live. So I haven't seen them for a pretty long time and I'm that and I'm that type of person where I pretty much usually go home every month before the lockdown so it's been tough I will say that but getting gifts like this just really means a lot to me and I love this gift and I believe the final gift that came through the door was this one and it is a Kath Kidson set so this is the magic this is the magical woodland lavender and English chamomile sleep hamper so this was actually from my colleagues at wear. It comes with a body cream, some bath salts, a sleep spray and a sleep mask. And I love Calf Kids in anyway and all of this stuff will definitely get used. So I'm really, really happy with that. So from Ricky, like I've mentioned in quite a few videos, he actually bought me a year subscription to Rockabot. But he did also buy me like a box of baked goods from a small business. So it came with like cookies, brownies, millionaire shortbread. We had like a Mars cake. It was amazing. I've indulged so much this week with it being my birthday. So he got me that as well. And we also, of course also had a takeaway. I said to people to get me vouchers just because I didn't want people to have to go out of their way and send me gifts and stuff like that. But no, it was really, really nice to get that. And what I will say with the flowers that my mum and dad and my sister and hair boyfriend got me, they also came with some truffles. Those were amazing so then everything else i got was asos vouchers i did ask for asos vouchers just because i'm in need of some new clothes i don't really buy a lot of new clothes for myself so i just asked if people could get me asos vouchers so i had quite a bit to spend on asos and i will show you now what i bought with those vouchers so starting off i bought a couple of pairs of earrings i love wearing earrings even though i'm not wearing any of the day so the first pair i got were just some really nice dainty earrings and they look like this I just really, really liked the look of these and I thought in the summer with a nice dress, these would look really, really nice. So I got those. What I will say with this stuff I got from ASOS, this was pretty much all in my wish list. I think I have about three things left in my wish list now, which was the exact reason why I wanted to get ASOS vouchers because I had so much stuff in my wish list that I wanted to buy. But I'm just that type of person where I don't like to splurge too much on clothes all of the time because I did used to be like that. And this was the second pair I got. So if I just turn it a little bit, it just looks like this. 
I just thought these looked really nice, really chunky, but just still kind of small at the same time, not too in your face. So I just really, really like these. And I'm pretty sure both of these were like ASOS own branded. I got those two. And then I did get a pair of shoes. So there was a pair of boots. Now this isn't going to be for everyone's taste. I will say that. But I, I've just had these in my wish list for a while. And I feel like with some of the stuff that I have, it will go with them. So I'll just show you one of them. And it's these. So it's got like a zip which I'm pretty sure, I think it's just a design. But this is what these look like. I just really, really like these. These were from New Look on ASOS. But no, I just really like these. These will last a really long time. And I just really liked the detail on it with the zip and it's like a zip one here. So you've also got the laces as well. I just really, really liked the look of these. I think these were like, these were definitely less than 30 pound. So I just really wanted to try them and see. I haven't tried them on yet. So I'm hopeful that they're going to fit, but I do really, really like these. I feel like these might more come out like the end of this year, even though it's not really the best weather at the moment. So I might be able to get some use out of these before it comes into spring. But I really, really like those. I also got some of these. So this is the Revolution Mini Essence Spray Collection in Hello Hydration. I wanted to try some more essences because I've used up both of the essences I've got in my collection now. I, I really liked that as a step in my skincare routine so I just thought I would pick these ones up. So it comes with three so we've got the super fruit which is a replenishing essence spray, we've got the hyaluronic which is the hydrating one and then we have rose hip. So it came with three little mini ones and I thought this is just the perfect thing to try. I just really wanted to give these a go so that was something else I bought but that was the only thing I did buy that was anything skincare beauty related because I'm trying to be a bit better with my spending on the beauty side of stuff because I have a lot of makeup and I get a lot of subscription boxes but I did want to give these ones a go so that was the only beauty related purchase I picked up. And now let's move on to the clothes. Starting off we have this jumper. It's just something that I thought would be a staple in my collection and it was from Miss Selfridge. So it looks like this. So it just, it just says like Paris black and white jumper. It feels really really nice. I picked it up in a medium and this was £25. It feels good quality. It does look a little bit see-through, but hopefully in the cutaway, which I'll put up here, it doesn't look too bad. And I, what I'm going to try and do this time is put like a thumbs up if I'm keeping it, like a, like a middle if I'm not short, and obviously downwards if I'm not. But I just really liked the look of this. It was simple, but it will go with a lot of stuff so this will go with like black jeans and those boots this would go with blue jeans it would go with leggings it will just go with a lot of stuff so i did actually get quite a few jumpers i know we are coming into spring but i just wanted to get a bunch of jumpers because those are what has been in my wish list and the next one i got was from new look and this one is a jumper dress which i'm absolutely loving at the moment and it looks like this so it just says new oh, let me move that out of the way for you it says new york manhattan i love the color of this and i think even in spring i can get away with wearing this because it's not super super thick it will look so much better in the cutaway. I'm most probably doing a really, really poor job of trying to show you right now. I just really like this. This was one thing that I wasn't going to buy. I think I was going to keep it in my wish list, depending on how much I got in vouchers because I wasn't sure. But I was able to get this and I'm so glad I did. And I think, I don't know how much this one was, but again, I don't think this was on sale, but I just wanted it anyway. I love the colour of it and I think it's going to be perfect for spring okay next we have another jumper <laughs> and this one again is from new look and it looks like this i loved this one i love the floral design on it and i love that it says chicago but the i'm obsessed with pretty much anything floral so this looks amazing really really comfy not super thick but it is definitely a jumper because it does have a bit of like a fair lining in it but I just loved this and as soon as I saw it, I was like, yes, this is definitely something I'm going to buy. So I'm really looking forward to wearing this again. This will go with pretty much anything. It will go with black jeans, blue jeans, leggings. So, and it will also go with those boots as well. So I just really, really liked that. Like I said, all of this stuff, I will put in a cutaway for you to see. I'm hoping that I'm not going to have to send any of this stuff 
back because I do really, really love all of the stuff. But unfortunately, if it just doesn't fit me right or it doesn't look right, I'm going to send it back. I have been guilty in the past of not doing that and just keeping the stuff and I don't want to do that anymore. So if it doesn't suit me or it doesn't look right, it will be going back. The next thing is something I've already got two of, but in different colours. And I absolutely love, love, love this so much. I am buying it in pretty much any colour I possibly can. So I've shown these before, but it is a Pluma dress. So it's like a t-shirt dress. And I have this in white and I have it in grey, which you would have seen in a couple of videos. But now I have it in black. It really is just plain. It's just got the Puma logo and then it's just a black dress, oversized. But not oversized to the point where it looks like you're wearing a sack. It's like the nice oversized. I absolutely love this. I would live in these if I could. I know there is so many other different colours, but... I just really wanted this one and this one was actually on sale when I bought it as well because it was originally £22 but I think this was on sale at £16.80 so I was so happy to get it on sale. I love these and I know for a fact I will keep this one. Hopefully you can see in the cutaway kind of like the fit and stuff but I really really love them and I most probably will buy more colours of those. I know there is like a, I think there's like a pear pillar one as well, which I think would be great for spring. So I might buy that one soon. <laughs> this next one I bought is something that I'm, it's a little bit out of my comfort zone and it's not crazy. Like it's not like a crazy, crazy colour, but it's also something that I might not usually gravitate towards but I just really liked the look of it and thought I would try it and it is this so it's a what do you call it like it's not really a checked shirt well I guess it kind of is but I just really liked it it's super super long as well so I thought you could wear this with leggings leather pants and with the boots as well I just really liked the look of it I do think I might have to wear something underneath it you could have it closed up like this you could have it open I just really loved the pattern as well and I'm loving oversized stuff at the moment something really comfortable like I said we're not going out anywhere who knows what's going to happen this year fingers crossed a little bit of normality but I'm really loving comfy clothes at the moment anyway. So that is pretty much what a lot of this stuff is. I just really, really liked the look of this. I don't know what this is going to look like. I'm really, really hopeful that this is going to look nice. But I just loved it. I loved the colour of it. It is super, super soft as well. Second to last thing that I bought was this. This I didn't think I was going to be able to buy either just because... I didn't know how much I was going to have and this was full full price but I just absolutely loved it. I love pink, anything pink I just absolutely love. So this is a Levi top and it I, I thought it was going to be more of a crop top. It is kind of a crop top but it's more of a boxy crop top I would say. I love it. I love, love, love it. I just really hope it looks good and it doesn't look weird because sometimes when something gets to a certain length, it just, it doesn't look right on me. It feels really, really good quality, a really nice thick, but not too thick, but it's a nice thick t-shirt. I love it. I love it. And this one wasn't on sale, but I just wanted to buy it. And last but no means least was actually something that wasn't in my wish list, but I spotted it when I went to go and buy stuff and I had some money left over. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to try it. It is really, really pretty design. Definitely something that now spring is coming in, I can wear then. And it is like a smock dress with floral designs. I am hoping that this is going to look okay. So pretty much I bought anything here. It might be a small, a medium or a 10. On ASOS, some things when you're a 10 can be a small, some things when you're a 10 can be a medium. It just all depends. So pretty much everything I've got here is either a small, medium or a 10. I just love this. I love the way that this looks. I think it's going to be so pretty and you can dress this up. You can dress it down. You can wear it with some boots. You can wear it with some sandals. I just loved it and I think the print is so pretty and this one is by ASOS. Like I said I will put cutaways in for all of this stuff but that was everything I got 
with my vouchers I got so much stuff I'm so happy a little bit of a refresh of my wardrobe as well because I haven't bought clothes for a long time hopefully I'm not going to be sending any of this stuff back I love all of that stuff and I did buy something separate but that came out of my money so I'm not going to include it into there I really really love everything that I got so everyone else did, did get me vouchers to put towards this the last things I'm going to show you are the stuff that I bought myself just thought you know what I'm going to treat myself to some stuff some stuff that I might maybe not usually splurge loads on but I thought why not so the first thing I picked up was some stuff from Natasha Denona I've wanted to try this stuff for ages and I've just always been um and ah in putting it in my basket taking it out and in and out in and out for ages and I just thought you know what it's my birthday I'm going to buy it so I picked up four things from Natasha Denona and the first one I picked up was this and this is the Natasha Denona bronze and glow bronze and highlighting powder now these are the mini ones and I'm pretty sure these are £16 I just wanted to try these I've seen a lot of people use these and I just think they look so pretty and my opinion of Natasha Denona has kind of changed recently since using my sunrise palette in my Pamela's eyeshadows so I wanted to try some more stuff from her and I just think this one looks really really nice and while I was there I also picked up the blush glow duo as well I thought I wanted them both I thought why not let's buy both so this is what this one looks like super 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 pretty I will definitely get use out of these I love them I love it I haven't tried these yet because I was saving them till after my birthday that was the first thing and then on the same order I actually picked up this and this is the Natasha Denona mini star palette so those three were the original things I was only going to buy myself for my birthday but I then bought a few more bits <laughs> but I just saw this and I thought it looked beautiful I was drawn in so it looks like this I don't want to be splurging £60 on more eyeshadow palettes from Natasha Denona almost £60 and above but these retail for £22 and I just really want to give these a go and see what I think and I think the colour stories on them all are beautiful but I was pretty selective I don't want to have all of them picked this one up I just thought the colour story in it was beautiful and then they brought out the mini love palette which I have had my eye on the full size love palette for a while there's been quite a few times I've nearly bought that full size palette but for me I don't mind Natasha Denona but I still don't think it's worth £60 for the eyeshadow palette so when they brought out the mini at 22 I thought you know what I'm gonna buy this I'm going to buy this and this came out in February and it looks like this I just loved it I just thought you know what this is the best of both worlds I can try some of the colours from it and these are the colours that did draw me into the main one so those were the four things I picked up from Natasha Denona and I was like that's it you know that is quite a lot then I saw Pat McGrath was having a sale and I want to say it was like 25% off 35% off I can't remember it was one of those two I've wanted to try Pat McGrath eyeshadows now I do have two like cheaper ones I think it was on like oh, it's on sale for like two for 22 pound I did pick up those but I wanted to try some other color stories I've had an eyeshadow palette in my wish list for a while and I picked it up so this retails for £50 when it's not on sale. I think I got this for like £35, £38, one of the two. I love it. I love it. I think it looks so pretty. This is the Mothership Rose Decadence. Beautiful. This also like feels really good quality as well, quite sturdy. So if I ever wanted to travel with these, which whenever that may be, I feel like I'd be pretty confident that I could take this and it not get smashed look at that pack packaging I just think it's beautiful so I th again I just use my birthday as an excuse to buy this <laughs> and then because I was buying that anyway I just bought some of these as well and these are the lip glosses so these were actually in the sale at £10 and I thought they're only little minis I thought I would give them a go and they look to be colours that I would like so we've got Dare to Bear, Divine Rose and Pale Fire Nectar. So those are the colours. I haven't taken them out of the packaging because this is going to be such a mess when I open it. I wanted to give these a go. And that was everything I bought for my birthday. 
I feel like with makeup I can definitely go overboard and I'm this is quite overboard but I definitely feel like I could have gone worse so I'm happy with everything I bought in terms of my low buy January and February haven't been the best for my low buy but I have put something in place now which means hopefully it's going to help me with my low buy so what I'm doing is I'm allowing myself one purchase of a makeup product each month one only so once I've decided and chosen it that will be all I'll be allowed to buy now I'm not taking into account subscription boxes I will be still getting my five subscription boxes and I also have my fabfit fun coming I was really really good in that and I did not buy any add-ons I didn't add anything else to my box either so I'm really really happy with that I'm trying to be a lot better and save a little bit more money while still having the best of both worlds of buying one makeup product maybe some clothes and yeah i'm definitely not going to be spending as much as what i have even if i do buy one makeup bit and some clothes that will still be so much better than what i was doing previously so that's how i'm going to work it when it comes to replacements i'm not counting that like if I need something I'm going to be buying it out of my normal money not my budget because I need it so yes that was my birthday haul I am so happy with everything I've got I am blessed and super super spoiled and I just I'm so grateful for everything that I got I absolutely loved everything I got and I'm now 28 if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and it would mean the world to me if you could subscribe if you don't already and until my next video thanks for coming by see you later